Hey everybody, <clears throat> I wanted to walk you through uh, velocity experiment number four. This is the one where whenever you click, it will fire a ball from the lower left hand corner of the screen towards your mouse. So I'm starting from a more or less empty template. Uh, I have a list of balls uh, and I create the list here in setup. Uh, my draw method is pretty much empty. I just have this kind of empty for loop that's looping through all the locations in the list, but I'm not actually doing anything yet. And then I've got this method after draw called mouse released. Mouse released runs automatically whenever I click the mouse. So because I want to create new ball objects whenever I click the mouse, um, this is where I want to start. Um, to make a new ball object, I'll create a variable called b. And I'll create a new ball. And now whenever I'm creating a ball, I've got to think about what do I want these inputs to the constructor to be. Um, if you look at your ball constructor, you should be able to see what order do they happen in. So for me, I've got the first number is x coordinate, y coordinate, speed, speed diameter. So I've got to give it those five numbers in that order. So for my x, y coordinate, I'm going to give it 0 and 580, because 0 for my x coordinate, 580 is down at the lower left hand corner of the screen. Uh, I'm going to give it 0, 0 for its initial speed and uh, maybe I'll make it diameter 10. All right, so that's the new ball object. And I want to add the ball object to my list. So I'll say list.add b for ball. All right, um, well, I want the ball to start out with uh, a velocity that moves it towards my mouse. So I'm going to create a new p vector because that's how I apply force to the ball object. So my vector is called v new p vector and I'll decide what should go in here in a second. Um, I know in order to apply the force to the ball object I need to tell the ball object to add the force and v is the name of my force vector. So how do I create a force vector that's pointing from where the ball starts so it's gonna be pointing from the lower left hand corner of the screen toward where my mouse is? Um, well, I need to get that difference in the x-coordinates between where the ball is in my mouse and the difference in the y-coordinates. So my mouse is at mouse x, so the difference in x-coordinates is going to be mouse x minus 0, because that's the x-coordinate where I'm starting the ball. And the difference in the y-coordinates is going to be mouse y minus 580. It's a little silly to say minus 0, so we could just take that part out. All right, so now I've got a, a force vector that's pointing in the direction that I want the ball to be moving. Um, but the vector is way too strong. Its length is really long, and so I need it to be a lot shorter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a new method that I haven't told you about yet. It's called mult. Uh, well, if you wanted to, you could say set magnitude to something small like 1, and that would make sense. But I kind of want it to be the case that if my mouse is far away, it will go faster, and if my mouse is closer to the left-hand corner of the screen, uh, it'll go slower. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to multiply the vector by a really small number, like 0 0.04 maybe, and f is for float. So multiplying by a very small number like this is like dividing the, the vector. Um, so this is just going to keep it pointed in the same direction. It's pointed toward the mouse, but it's much shorter. All right, well, uh, so this, this should do it. Let's review. I've clicked the mouse. I make a new ball. I give it a force vector that's pointed toward where my mouse is. I make the force be small. And then I add that force into the ball object. And then I put the ball object into my list. So that makes sense. All right, here's in draw. So in draw, I'm going to loop through all the locations in the list. The first thing I need to do is ask the list to get a ball. So I'm going to get the thing at location i and save it into a ball variable. And I know I'm going to want to do ball.simple move because I want to move the object. And I guess now I just need to draw it. So I'll say ellipse b.x, b.y, b.diameter, and b.diameter. All right, so far so good. Let's run it and see what it looks like. So it looks like maybe it's definitely going toward my mouse. It seems like the initial velocity is still way too strong. So I'm going to multiply it by an even smaller number. Let's do 0 0.006, and we'll see what that looks like. 
that could be okay. So the other thing I'm noticing is um, there's no gravity, and it would be nice to add in some gravity. So let's do that. Um, I don't want to add a new uh, P vector down here that would pull it downwards because the code here only runs in the moment that I click the mouse. And gravity is a force that I want to apply all the time. Every single step, I want there to be gravity pulling the objects down. So I want to add the P vector for gravity inside draw. And because I want it to happen to every single ball object, I want it inside this loop. So as soon as I get a ball out, before I actually draw it and move it, I'm going to create a new P vector. I'll call it grav. And if I want to pull my object down, it's going to be uh, 0 in the x component. And it'll be like 0 0.1 in the y component. So that's straight down. And I will tell my ball to add the force. And my force is called gravity. And so that should have added gravity. Let's see what it looks like now. OK, well, that seems to be working. But now it seems clear that uh, my initial velocity isn't fast enough. So I'm going to make this be 0 0.01 is what I'm going to divide it by, or multiply by. Mm, a little stronger, maybe. Let's do it 3. I think 2 is going to be the magic one. Or let's do 1, 5. All right, that's seeming pretty good. All right, so that's that's it. Um, we will be building on this starting on Monday to make a sort of a, a castle defense game, or at least the very beginning of a castle defense game. Enjoy!